to our special series, Heart Matters, more than six million Americans are currently living with heart failure. And every year, thousands of patients require a heart transplant. Tonight, CBS's chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, looks at a medical breakthrough that could give more people the chance to get a new heart. It's moments like this that made Jason Banner decide to take a chance on a new method of heart transplantation. I'm, I'm thankful for everything that is, is given me so far, and, and that's the gift of life. The single father of two discovered in 2005 he had a genetic heart condition. Last year, he was hospitalized with an irregular heartbeat, which causes poor blood flow. They were basically telling me my heart was ready to give out at any moment. Banner was transferred to Duke University Hospital for treatment while he awaited a heart transplant. During 2022, almost 8,500 people were on the wait list, but fewer than half received hearts because there weren't enough donors. To increase his odds, Banner agreed to participate in a procedure called donation after circulatory death. The use of this technology is the biggest thing to happen in heart transplants since heart transplants started. Traditionally, a heart has been removed from a body and then put in a tray on ice. What's different about this? The heart is connected to uh, essentially a miniaturized heart-lung machine that, that actually pumps blood into the heart. And so not only does that uh, allow it to recover, we can transport as far uh, as we need to. This new device expands the number of hearts available for transplant by increasing the distance the donor hearts can travel. Previously, hearts needed to be transplanted within approximately four hours. You've successfully transplanted a heart that was on this machine for more than nine hours. We can go further and think about using hearts that are not going to be used that just because of distance alone. Last June, Banner received a heart flown in from out of state. This is a heart you would not have been able to get before. Truth. It has given me the opportunity to be here for my family. All because an organ donor gave him a second chance at life. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.